Hiratzon, Parashat Vayera, 5782. Parashat Vayera is very, very famous for the beginning of the Makot. And uh, we know that the first seven Makot are in this Parsha, and the last three are in the next Parsha. The first seven end in this Parsha with Barad. That's where we finish. And the next Parsha starts with Arbe, Choshech, and Makat Bechorot. And there's a very interesting shear given by Mori Verabi of Tanakh, of Yoni Grossman, that he speaks about when we look at Makat Barad, it's very different. And for many levels, it seems like it's the ending of the Makot. Because when we look at the Maka there, it speaks about everyone agreeing with Hashem and sending everyone out. And really the ending of this Parsha, in some ways, it could have been the end of the Makot. But the idea is that there were two different messages of the Makot. The first seven were meant to fight against Mitzrayim. But the next three in Parsha Bo are meant to make Am Yisrael believe in Hashem. And when we look at the Makot, we think it's all one, you know, journey of like big thing. But really, the Parsha divided into two sections. That there's the first seven and the last three. The first seven essentially are dealing with the idea of showing Mitzrayim that Hashem is the master of the world. And then the last three Makot is having Am Yisrael believe in Hashem. And I think that when we translate this, and we think about it to our lives, we have to realize that a lot of times we jump to Parshat Bo. We jump right away to like, do I believe in Hashem? How do I believe in Hashem? But we have to realize that the Mako were teaching us that the first thing we have to realize is to remove the things that we think are Hashem. That we have made our phones into a God. That we have mo- made money into a God. That we've made success into a God. And you could speak all day long about Hashem and about belief in Hashem and going to Parshat Bo and speak about how we have to believe and we have to grow. But really at the end of the day, the only way that we could really have a relationship with Hashem is that we first recognize what's blinding us, what's preventing us. And the first seven makot are all about that. The first seven makot are saying, I don't want you to think that you can move forward if you're sinking in mud. And the idea of Mitzrayim is that it's not only a place that's that's a scary slavery. It's it's a mindset that there are no awareness of what we have done. There's no awareness and there's no focus on the Avodah Zara that we're involved in. The Avodah Zara that we believe in things that are the opposite of what's real. That we make what's fake real and what's real fake. And so parts of the era, the tshuva that we have to be immersing ourselves in is not asking ourselves only do we believe in Hashem because we first have to be able to mamash understand how to deal with removing the idols. And that's what we see with Yaakov Avinu before he tries to get Amishal to believe in Hashem. He says to them, Asiru Pesel, Mabai, not exact words, but in order to move forward, we need to be able to remove that Vodazara. Bezat Shemish Abi Zohar.